So we're given these two algebraic equations, x times quantity qx plus 1 equals 0, and quantity x plus 1 half times quantity 2x minus 3 equals 0, whereas to solve for x. The first thing I will say is that the worst thing you can do, an absolute train wreck, would be to multiply out these expressions, to distribute out. We're already given them in factored form equal to zero, and that is always the goal. That's always the thing you're trying to get to when you're solving a quadratic, to get it in factored form equal to zero. So they're merely handing it to us on a platter right here. So in that sense, we're very fortunate. Why do we want a factored form equal to zero? Well, there's this amazing idea you may remember from the dim recesses of Algebra 1. If you multiply two numbers and you get zero, the only way that can happen is if one equals zero or the other equals zero. This is actually called the zero product property. The only way you can get a product of zero is if one of the things is zero or the other thing is zero. So let's look at the first equation. The only way that we're going to get a product of zero is either if x equals zero or 2x plus 1 equals zero. And if I solve that for x, I get x equals negative 1 half. So x equals 0 or x equals 1 half. Those are the only two mathematical possibilities with the first equation. Let's apply that logic to the second equation. The only way we'll get a product of 0 is if either x plus 1 half equals 0 or 2x minus 3 equals 0. So either x equals negative 1 half or 2x equals 3, x equals positive 3 halves. Well, the only possibility that's going to satisfy both of these equations is x equals negative 1 half. And this is answer choice B.